I want to do a quick video, hopefully to inspire you um, to think outside the box with some of the stamps um, and things to do. So the first one I have here is a basket weave stamp. This is a plain square one. So it looks like that. Okay, this one, and there's more than enough videos and stuff showing it being used as a basket weave, but what if you want to use it as a border? course if you work more slowly you will work more accurately than I am but there's a line of that and I suppose in itself that could be a border but there's a few things you can do to make that border more successful one of them is adding adding here a camouflage tool. Okay, so where do you add that? Let's see. I like to add it on either side of the little crossbar. And what that does makes that beautiful half moon on either side very nice very nice border on its own just like that um, of course on all of these you can bring in a cedar which most people do have uh, and maybe there in the center put a cedar down all of that's possible but there's another nice way of uh, enhancing this border and that is to take one of my all-time favorites it's a 910 um, yeah 910 2 and there we go yeah F910, it's a figure beveler, but it's got a sharp tip, not a front edge. So, what you do with this guy is you line up one of its long sides with that basket weave edge, like that. It neatens up that edge for you. And... Brings a whole new thing into play. So now I also do the opposite side for this. Same thing. And there you've got a really nice new border. Something special. Something you haven't seen a lot of at all. So that's really a lot of fun there. Just border-wise. So there's something, there's a few other tricks that I've often shown to new people who's just got a few basic stamps. And that is doing a background with the uh, basket weave stamp, not the traditional basket weave. Let me show you what I mean. So, and I uh, do this very, very um, rough. You can, of course, be very anal or about it, but let's see. So, put up a 
impression down and then I kind of judge from that corner to the middle and I put another one down and there I've got a triangle. Now you do that on every single um, edge of that basket weave. So go and one on that one and I mean you can go on like that so what happens now that's very nice is this let me show you This develops into a round design. Of course, I've got to close up that triangle. There we go. And now you sit with that. And you can just simply carry on doing or completing these... triangles of basket weaves and all that that's going to do for you is create more and more and more and more circles and before you know it you have filled a whole lot of background just like that Now, of course, it's up to you what you're going to do with, um, with those empty triangles in the middle. Uh, you can do a whole lot with them, too. And I'll show you in a second what I mean. Okay, there we go. So, what I mean with uh, enhancing those triangles, you can do something again with my favorite tool, the figure carving beveler, a sharp guy. By the way, there's three versions of this. This one has little lines across it. There's a smooth version and there's a textured version. The other two does not work as well as this one with the lines. So, what I do now, just put this guy in every one of those corners of the triangles, and it'll make a bit of a difference and enhance them slightly. Okay, almost there. Just little tricks like this makes a whole lot of difference and gives you a very unique, unique pattern to work with. Them. One big secret here is to sit and play with it. See? Take a piece of scrap leather, sit and play with it, come up with something really nice. Um, okay, so like, for example, I got a question from somebody, what do you do with the um, center of a belt 
and a and a basket wheels. Let me just get this guy a bit damp again. Okay. Let's say you want uh, want to do a basket weave something on the center of a belt. So you can draw a center line and um, then take your basket weave and now now you make sure that you mark how wide that basket weave is. There is a little, little miniature mark right there that shows me how wide it is. What that helps me is I want to put the one side of the basket weave on that and the other side of the basket weave on the line. Okay, so there we go. First impression done. Then, I overlap those legs half-half on the front and on the back, again, on the line. So I can make a whole line like this down the center of the belt. Okay, let's do it up to there. Then you can flip the belt around and now do exactly the same on the other side. So here I am marking how wide the basket weave stamp is. I put one tip on the other tip on the other side and I know where to swing the tool to. Same here, tip on tip and halfway over the previous leg. Line them up like that and this goes on the very center of the belt. If it is a wide belt and you want another line of basket weave stamp, you can do that. Um, no problem. Um, but that will be up to you. So um, what I do like to do with this, though, is um, again take that photo tool, the triangular figure carving beveler, and in those sharp tips there, I stamp this guy again. And I'll show you now what a difference that makes. You see there. And it makes a big difference. It takes away, it obliterates some of the center line that I originally drew. And it just does something extra there. So there you go. And then you can decide what you do with the rest. Um, you can end the basket weave, so say put a second row in there, running either way. So you can have this tip in the middle and then one arrow head running the opposite direction. Or now if you want to end it off, here's another alternative. Um, with the um, camouflage tool, you can do just a very simple closing of that gap of the basket weave. And there's a nice pattern for use on the inside of a belt. 
or any border if you want a thick wide border for something or uh, on a strap maybe a handbag strap or something there you go that's an idea so play with it um that's the main thing i hope i've inspired you to to uh, pick up the, the tools that you get haven't used for a while and just play them and use them in unusual ways hope that helped